Section 2.1, Relations and Functions. In this video, I will go over several of the important vocabulary words related to relations and functions, as well as going over what it means to be a function and function notation. Remember to take notes. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. The forms that we'll see a relation in are maps, tables, graphs, sets, and equations. The way you read a map is you see which input goes to which output. So in this case, we have the points 3, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 3, 0, and negative 6, 2. When we deal with relations, it's important to understand the concepts of domain and range. The domain is the set of all the x-coordinates in the ordered pairs of a relationship, so that's our inputs, and the range is the set of all the y-coordinates. If we were to look at the table, for example, we would see the points 1, 5, 2, 4, 4, 5, and 3, 1. That means that our domain is 1, 2, 4, and 3. So when I write it, it's a good idea to write it in ascending order. So our domain is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Our range, or our outputs, are 5, 4, 5, and 1. So I would write 1, 4, and 5. If I look in my map, these values right here are my domain, and these are my range. If I looked at my set, I would look at each x-coordinate for my domain, and I would look at each y-coordinate for my range. Graphs sometimes get a little bit trickier. Let's start with the one on the right. Eventually, this line is going to go, keep going all the way to positive infinity and negative infinity which means that our domain and our range are both all real numbers for this graph. However, if you look at the other graph, we see that our x-coordinates will continue to go all the way to negative infinity and positive infinity, but our y-coordinates never go below zero. That means that while our domain is all real numbers, and I'll write the r here for all real numbers, However, our range does not go below zero, so that means that our range is y oops, is greater than or equal to zero. A certain type of relation that we deal with a lot are functions. Functions are a relation in which each x-coordinate is paired with exactly one coordinate. In other words, our x cannot go to multiple y's, so our x cannot repeat with different outputs, even though it's okay for our y-coordinates to repeat. Let's look at some examples. In this first example, if my input is 2, I know that my output is 3. If my input is 3, I know that my output is 0. If my input is 5, I know that my output is 2. And if my input is 4, I know that my output is 3. Therefore, this is a function because each x-coordinate goes to a unique y-coordinate. However, in the next example, if we look at these two ordered pairs, I see that if my input is 3, there are two different y-coordinates or outputs that it maps to. Therefore, this is not a function. If I were to look at my tables, I'd again look for a repeat in the x-coordinates. Since, since each x-coordinate here is different, this is a function. It's okay that I have two different y-coordinates because as long as I put in a certain x, I know what my output will be. In the next example, because we have a repeat x-coordinate, I don't know what my output would be, so this is not a function. If we're given a graph, the way that we determine if a relation is a function is to use the vertical line test. We know that if we were to pass a vertical line along the entire graph of this line right here, it would never cross at more than one spot. Therefore, it is a function because there's never an input that has more than one output. However, in our second graph, if I put this line over the graph, I see that it does cross at more than one point. This means that it's not a function. The reason this is true is let's look at the two spots that it crosses. That's the point 1, negative 2, and approximately the point 1, 2. 
In other words, this vertical line is just a trick to see, oops, is just a trick to see that with the same input, we will have multiple outputs. So if a vertical line crosses your graph at more than one spot, we have a non-function or something that is not a function. One thing to note is that if we have the graph of a vertical line itself, then it's not a function. For example, the graph of x equals 2. Well, that's the point 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 100, 2, negative 70. So that would not be a function because our vertical line would cross it at infinite points. The final concept in this video is function notation. We see that function notation is when y is written as f of x. This means that y is a function of x. Instead of writing my equation y equals negative 2x plus 4, I could write this as the function of x is negative 2x plus 4. This is not f times x. This is saying the function of x. So if I'm given something like this, given that the function of x is negative 2x plus 4, find f of 3, that simply means that I take my function and I substitute 3 in instead of x. So I'm saying, what is the value for this function if f itself is 3? So in this case, I have negative 2 times 3 plus 4, which is negative 2. Therefore, the function when it's evaluated, or the function f when it's evaluated at 3, is negative 2. Or we have the point 3 negative 2 on this line here. You're just about done watching this video. You should have learned what a relation is, a set of all ordered pairs, specifically what a function is, which is a relationship in which each x-coordinate is paired with exactly one y-coordinate. You should now understand domain being the inputs and range being the outputs, which is particularly important on a graph, and that we determine if the graph of something is a function by using the vertical line test. Try some practice problems and we'll talk about this more tomorrow.